In this tutorial on GarageBand for the iPhone or iPod Touch, I'm going to show you how to add a new instrument. I'm going to explain the transport controls and demonstrate the smart drums. So let's go ahead and get started. To add a new instrument, you're going to tap this plus button in the bottom left corner here. Let's go ahead and add the smart drums. And this interface pops up. What you have here are different samples that you could add over on the right along with a grid in the center here. So let's go ahead and drop one of these on here and I'll show you what this grid does. So the higher it is, the louder it is. The lower it is, the softer it gets. To the right, you get a more complex pattern. To the left, you get a simpler pattern. So let's add some more. turn the drum machine on and off, you press this power button up in the top left corner here. If you want to randomly place all of the instruments, you press this dice down here. If you want to reset all the instruments back to the right, you press the reset button. So let's go ahead and start our drum beat. And we're going to do that by using the transport controls up at the top here. So let's press the play button. And then next to the play button is the stop button. And after you hit the stop button and you're in the middle of the song, it turns into a button that returns you to the beginning of the song or the section that you're currently working on. So let's restart the drums here. And let's add some shaker. sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and record that. So I'm going to start it back at the beginning and I'm going to press the record button, which is this button right here. As you can see, this bar turns red and that's indicating that it has been recorded over this, over these bars. Now it's turned green, that means you have a track on those bars. You can actually pull this roller down and see what you recorded. And you can actually edit this recording a little bit. You can uh, split it. Let's go ahead and stop this. You can uh, move where you are currently in the uh, measure by tapping on this circle here and dragging it around. So let's say we want to have shakers for just the first four bars. We're going to drop it at bar five. We're going to tap on it and tap on split and then pull the scissors down and then tap on the right section, tap again, and then tap on delete. So let's hear how that sounds. Sounds pretty cool. You can actually cycle through your instruments in this menu as well by touching on the drum interface over here and then scrolling down or up. You can also access the mixer by tapping on that icon and then dragging to the right. Here you can control the level as well as solo the instrument. You're gonna wanna avoid having any redness, like right there. That'll cause your speakers to peak. You can also turn the instrument on or off by pressing this button. So let's go ahead and stop. That's going to conclude it for this tutorial. Um, stay tuned for following tutorials. I'll be explaining more features in GarageBand.